They're absolutely, totally, completely flawless beings. Absolutely flawless. Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm your host, Awestruck Vox. You know, modern day technology and social media is a great thing. It allows us to keep in touch with our family and friends easier in ways we never thought of before. It allows us to share our art, our music, express ourselves in ways previously unimaginable. But most importantly, it allows us to bug the writers of a show, including Steven Universe. Now, I joke, you shouldn't bug or harass anybody who works on a show just because they work on that show. Don't expect to get any answers that way. But occasionally, some things do slip by. Previously on the show, I've mentioned tweets by Matt Burnett, as he usually gives out hints for the future of the show, and people kind of just ignore these. Well, not really ignore, but they don't get the exposure they deserve. And oh boy, did he give away possibly a huge plot point. Well, not really a huge plot point, but something that will definitely play a role in the later episode of Yellow Diamond, and well, any of the diamonds really. On April 23rd, 2016, Twitter user Banana Coins, or T-Shirt Please, tweeted to Matt Burnett and asked, can diamonds change their opinions after a poof reforming, or even at all? And his response is, A diamond poofing? <laughs> now, this can mean many things. You can interpret this a lot of ways. Well, mainly two. A, the diamonds have never actually been poofed before in combat, at least as far as anybody on a homeworld knows, so you really wouldn't be able to tell. Or B, the diamonds literally cannot be poofed. A hit strong enough won't poof them, but will immediately shatter them or corrupt them. I say or corrupt because we know the many theories of of the Temple and Sirius Steven having features similar to White Diamond. At least, what we would assume is White Diamond. Now, Peridot stated, in message received, that the diamonds are absolutely perfect. They're flawless beings. They're objectively better than us. Every gem has their strengths and weaknesses, but not them. They're absolutely, totally, completely flawless beings. Especially my diamond. Right. So, it isn't out of the question at all that they've never been poofed before. Well, at least yellow, white, and blue diamond. And I believe real-life properties of a diamond attributes to this. The word diamond itself comes from the Greek word meaning unbreakable. Diamond is the hardest substance known to mankind. However, this doesn't mean that they're actually unbreakable. Yeah, diamonds are hard, but there's a difference between hardness and toughness. Even though it may not seem like it, hardness and toughness are two separate things. Two distinct traits. Hardness depends upon the strength of the bonds between atoms in a crystal. There can be variations in hardness depending on the direction in which one measures this property. Diamonds show a variation in hardness. While toughness is the ability to resist being fractured, to resist breaking, chipping, or cracking in general, how well it holds up against mechanical stress such as an impact from a fall. So yeah, while diamond is the hardest mineral, it can still chip and be fractured. So, I'd like to believe, if the gems got into it with Yellow Diamond, they could form Alexandrite. And Alexandrite can use all of her weapons, smacking around Yellow Diamond all day long. But because Yellow Diamond is so strong, because of her hardness, and Lit is a good hit to the actual diamond itself, her actual gem on her chest, it wouldn't do anything. Yellow Diamond would just brush it off. But if they got a really, and I mean a really good hit, at her gemstone, it would shatter. She'd be finished. Now, once she shattered, would she corrupt? Um, possibly? Now, while we don't know the full details of what it takes to become a corrupted gem, I assume the gemstone being cracked has something to do with it. And since we know Jasper's getting a corruption arc, and we know it's pretty likely that her gem is cracked, then those two may go hand in hand. But then again, Lapis's gem was cracked for thousands of years, and while she can use her powers to her fullest, such as her wings, her physical form was still pretty normal. Her physical form wasn't that bad, but the mirror probably saved her at the same time. While a diamond may not be super duper tough, it is super hard. And yeah, a good hit 
could defeat yellow diamond, blue diamond, white diamond. Which pegs the question, how hard does that attack need to be? They say the only thing that can break a diamond is another diamond. <coughs> the diamonds kill pink diamond. <coughs> So either a fusion has to beat yellow diamond, since fusions multiply their power and strength, possibly as strong, if not stronger than a diamond, allowing them to have such a powerful punch for a gemstone, or another diamond would have to defeat her. Now I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Let's mess around with the possibility that Rose was pink diamond. That would mean Steven is currently the new pink diamond, right? That means Steven would be the one to defeat yellow diamond. But here's the thing, Steven's pretty pacifist in his ways. Yeah, we've seen he's not afraid to rough some gems up, but that's usually only when he doesn't understand the gem. I feel like Steven would try to make an attempt to understand Yellow Diamond, Blue Diamond, White Diamond, to make peace with them. I don't really think he would hurt them, but remember, this is just me saying IF the Rose's pink diamond theory is true, and if Steven is currently the new pink diamond. But once again, that's an if! The other possibility I can see is a diamond turning on yellow diamond and destroying her, which would be pretty cold, and since yellow diamond is the main antagonist right now, that'd be kind of a cold yet really cool way to set up the next diamond, having the next antagonist be the one who puts down the current one. But I don't really know if they'd go that route. Anyways, these were just some ideas that I wanted to put out there. So to recap, a diamond has never been poofed before, or can't be poofed, as far as they want Homeworld to know. But if they can't be poofed, that means they can only be shattered. And since diamonds are hard, the force of the blow would have to equal the strength of a diamond, or actually be a diamond. I hope I presented this theory well, because I worry that I don't a lot, and that usually bites me in the ass. That being said, this Crystal Clear has come to a close. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Comment your thoughts down below. I'm really, really curious to see what you guys think. Be sure to follow the Roundtable on Twitter, at RoundtableVids. If you got a dollar or two to spare, pledge to our Patreon. There are a lot of cool bonuses. Awestruck Vox, signing out. Just give me something I can use to defuse this thing so we can all get on with our lives. Here comes the Crimson Gem!